Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have the Gen Max 7,250 watts. All right, this is the Gen Max 7250. Look over here. We have the ATS switch, transfer switch right here. It's going to automatically take the power from the house. And once the power goes off, it's going to start the generator and power these loads right here. So I just have a light. This is the ATS CKAT. This is just a, a brand I'm testing to see if the Gen Max ATS actually works. So right now I have the generator on. I have power coming from the home. Let me show you where I get the power coming from. So I'm plugged in right here to my RV output. So I have a 240 right here, 50 amp. So it's plugged in right here, going to the ATS. This comes right here to the ATS. So once this is powered by the home, See, the generator will not start. So we have the ATS over here. It's plugged in. This wire comes right here and goes to the ATS plug right here, this port. You have CD, load, and generator. I'm using the uh, parallel ports to output the power. You could use the 50 amp, but this one right here, it was wired for the parallel. Either way, it's going to work the same. Output is output. So you can see right here, it's on auto. Load is on. So that means we have power going to right here. And CD power is on, meaning that there's power from the CD. So what I'm going to do is turn off the CD power and show you that the, the load goes off. Generator comes up. It warms up for a little bit. Then it introduces power. Then we'll turn the power back on. And see what happens real quick test guys i know you guys wanted me to test the ats on the gen max we're going to do that right now so let me shut off the power i'm going to set this up right here just so you can see the light goes off when i shut off the power okay be right back power off now okay so the power went off Come over here, you can see that there's no more light on the city power. So it's gonna check, make sure everything's okay. Start the generator. Generator light came on. Now it's gonna let the generator warm up for about a minute before power comes back on over here. Let's see how that happens. And I also have a heater plugged in that should come on too. There you go, so it's warming up. You're gonna hear this click. The load's gonna come on. All right, and there you go. Heater's on, light's on, generator's running, supporting the house. See right here, we're getting 121 volts, pulling right about 900 watts light and heater. Now you can get 240 volts right here. I put a uh, adapter so I can plug in some light loads just to test it real quick. We're just testing the uh, automatic transfer switch. Auto start feature. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the CD power back on. Okay, I'm gonna turn the CD power back on now. Power back on. You see, we still have power. See right here, load, generator, and CD, and there you go. Transferred it. Power never went off, it just transferred automatically. Light never shut off. Heater still running, light still running. Now it's running off CD power. So, if you have that, see the generator still running, it's gonna run for a little bit just to make sure the power doesn't uh, go back off. It's going to cool down the generator for a little bit and then it goes into standby mode. Now we have CD power and the load supported and it's in auto. The generator is going to go into standby mode. You guys shouldn't have to worry about shutting it off or anything. It's just going to go into standby mode.
Leave it on fuel. Leave it on on. Leave it on eco mode. All right. That's all you have to do. So there you go, guys. The Gen Max. 7,250 IEDC does support auto transfer switch and automatic gen, uh, generator start. As you can see right here, we demonstrated it. It works. Real quick video. I just wanted to show you guys that it does work and you can um, um, use it as a automatic transfer switch. Okay, guys, if you like this video, Guys, please hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and leave a comment. I really appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Real quick video. I, I don't have any um, info on this or any links, but I just wanted to show you that the generator does work. When I find out some more info about this ATS, I will put it in the description so you can find it. Guys, let me turn everything off so I can show you what the inside looks like, okay? The first thing I'm going to do is turn this off, make sure the generator does not come on, disconnect the power, shut this off. This. So we have no power going to the transfer switch, the ATS, and this is what it looks like on the inside. It's basically just a double relay, so you can get your 240 volts. You have your safety reset right here, you press and turn to reset. A lock so you can lock it and all your lights and you could also leave it auto or switch it to manual it would automatically start the generator that's it real simple all right guys thanks for watching this video hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button Please subscribe to the channel. If you like watching my videos and you're not subscribed to the channel, please just hit that subscribe button. Guys, thanks for watching this channel. Have a great day. Bye.